and let it be consecrated, Lord, to Thee. Take my moments and my days, let them flow in ceaseless praise, let them flow in ceaseless Take my hands and let them move at the impulse of thy love. Take my feet and let them be swift and beautiful for thee, swift and beautiful. And let me sing always only for my King. Take my lips and let them be filled with messages from Thee. Filled with messages from Thee. Take myself and I 
And so, friends, in John 10, verse 7, Jesus said unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep, and all that ever came before me are thieves and robbers. But the sheep did not hear them. I am the door, Jesus says, by me, and if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and he shall go in and out and find pasture. And then Jesus says in verse 10, the thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. But the amazing thing is Jesus says, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundant. Maybe today you say in your heart, Lord, yeah, this old hymn, take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Take my moments and my days, let them flow in ceaseless praise. Maybe that's your prayer today, Lord, take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Jesus said, he has come that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. In verse 11, Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. And the good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. And the good shepherd, Jesus Christ, firstly came to give he came to give. He poured out his life for us so that you and I can experience this amazing abundant life that God has said. But then he says in verse 12 of John 10, but he that is a hireling and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf catcheth him and scattereth the sheep. The hiring fleeth, because he is a hireling, and careth not for the sheep. And that is so true, friends. Everyone else, you know, everyone else that want to present themselves as a savior cannot save, because they are in need themselves. But the good shepherd, he came to give. And then Jesus says in verse 14, I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep, and I am known of mine. Jesus singing to you today. I am your good shepherd, and I know you. I know you. I know you. I know you. Verse 15 As the Father knows me. Even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. Friends, you can know that today, that Christ has laid down his life for you. He has laid down his life. And how amazing that the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world has laid down his life for you and for me. He has bought us with a price that's why he won't leave us that's why he won't forsake us 
That's why, you know, no matter what difficulty we go through, He will not leave you because He has laid down His life for you, for you. And the beautiful thing is that Jesus says in verse 16, And other sheep I have which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Maybe he was referring, you know, to natural Israel, that yes, the time of the Gentiles, but yes, God will bring in many, many people, many Gentiles, and of course, many, many Jews will come to Christ, even in this time as well. And then Jesus says in verse 17, Therefore doth my Father love me, because I laid down my life, that I might take it up again. And Jesus says, No man takes it from me, but I lie it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of the Father. And so you and I, we can rest assured today, yes, that we have a Savior, Jesus Christ, that paid the price for us. says in verse 27 my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me by that Jesus was saying I will not be silent I will speak and you know he's a shepherd that will speak to us in our good times in our not so good times when everything seems wonderful or when we're in the midst of great challenges and tribulations and trials. He said, my sheep hear my voice. We have a shepherd that speaks. And we know that in the Old Testament, he spoke, you know, through the prophet, through the priest, through the king, but we have a Savior now, Christ Jesus. You know, as the Hebrew Scripture says, in times past, God spoke different times in different ways through the prophets, has now spoken unto us by His Son. That's why He wants to speak to you. That's why he wants to know you. And it says, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Verse 28, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. You know, if you've given your life to Christ, if you are following the Savior Jesus Christ, if you're a sheep and you are hearing his voice, he will know you and you will follow him. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. So take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to Thee. Take my moments and my days, let them flow in ceaseless praise, 
Let them flow in ceaseless praise. Friends, just hear the last verse again of this old hymn. Take my love, my Lord, I pour at your feet its treasure store. Take myself and I Take my voice and let me sing always only for my King. Take my lips and let them be filled with messages. From thee filled with messages from thee. And so, Father, that you will fill all of our mouths with messages from you. And especially in this time, Lord, of uncertainty on the earth, in this time when people are really in panic and when there's a shaking taking place in all the nations. And as Psalm 2 is busy happening, why do the people rage, the nations rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. But you know the end of Psalm 2 says, Kiss the son, lest he be angry and you perish in the way. For us, it's a time to be with the shepherd, the great shepherd of our soul. The one that laid down his life for us. The one whose voice is there for you and for me. The one that will not be silent even in times of challenges. And as you and I, as you call on the name of the Lord, His presence will come for you. He will not stay away when you wait on Him. When you call His name, He won't stay away from you. Be blessed, my friend. Be blessed. He that is in us is greater than he that's in the world. Bless you.